Welcome to Celebrate Aging. I'm Sandy Leo with Ecumen Detroit Lakes, and I'm here today with one of my very favorite couples in Detroit Lakes, George and Lillian Maruska. Welcome. Thank you very much. And George. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you both for joining me. And we are going to talk about um, a little bit about your lives, your marriage, and about your recent move to the Madison. So I understand uh, the two of you moved to the Madison in the last couple of months. Is that correct, Lillian? Yes, it is. That's correct. And so how are you liking it? I love it. It's Everyone is so kind and so polite and so helpful. I, you know, I, I feel like I'm in heaven. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that is great news. How about you, George? How do you like life here at the Madison? Uh, um, I enjoy the change, and I, I like it very much. I was quite surprised how homey it can feel. Okay. So, uh, the, the apartment uh, could be any couple's apartment. Exactly. Um, very homey. And I know, um, George, for you, now you have some background with, with uh, Emanuel Nursing Home. You, in fact, used to uh, act as a conservator for many of the residents who lived here over the years. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So, and you actually um, started out at the bank. Weren't you a banker here at the Bremer Bank in Detroit I Lakes? I started out at the Bremer Bank in 1946 after my discharge from the service in World War II. Okay, so 1946 you started at the Bremer Bank and you were the assistant vice president, is that correct? I ended up the senior vice president. Oh, the senior vice president, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry my, about that, yeah. My principal job was, was the senior vice president in charge of loans. Okay, senior vice president in charge of loans. Yes. And then Lillian, you were saying that you had several children. You did not work out of the house, um, but you had, you and George had was it eight children that you had together? We have eight children. Okay. And uh, I did all our cooking and all our cleaning and all our sewing. And <laughs> when we went to the Seattle World Fair in 62, in one week I made 11 outfits for my daughters. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, and it seems like years ago, um, especially, the moms would do a lot of the sewing for oh, yes. the kids for their clothes, and so you made you made eleven outfits. outfits. That sounds like the sound of music. Shorts and, and tops, you know. Yeah, it was, it was summertime, and so. Oh my goodness! Well, that that's that just sounds like a lot of fun. And then the whole family was able to go to the World's Fair. No, the younger ones. Um, let's see, we had two younger that we left with my mother. Six, six went. Huh? George? Six, six went to the... Six went with one us. One stayed home and one hadn't been born yet. Oh, one wasn't born yet. Okay. okay. Okay, well, you know, you two have actually been married for 70 years. And this month is Valentine's month. We just passed Valentine's Day here a week or so ago. So I thought it would be great to interview the two of you because I don't believe I know another couple who's been married for 70 years. Well, it'll be seven, seven. It will be seven. It'll be 70 years in July. July. And when, what date were you married in July? The 24th of July. The 24th. Well, I was married on July 25th. Oh. Yeah, so, but it won't be 70 years. <laughs> In fact, I was trying to do the math, and I, I thought to myself, my husband, Andy, who I know you both know, if we were to be married for 70 years, I think he'd end up being 116, so I don't think it's going to happen, <laughs> unfortunately. 
So 70 years is quite the milestone. Wouldn't you say, George? Yeah. Yeah, so does it, does has it been a good, good marriage? It has been a wonderful 70 years. Yes. It yeah. doesn't seem like 70. It seems like yesterday. <laughs> we got married. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's, that's a great way to feel about it. Uh, so time, oh, in other words, has, has just been marked. Yes. Mm -hmm. So being married 70 years, I would imagine our folks, our uh, viewers would like to know, what, what is your formula for a successful 70 years of marriage? Respect for one another. You respect her and she respects me. Okay, and, respect. And in those days, some of your discipline problems, the boys disciplined the boys and the women took care of the girls and it, it worked out very well. Okay, so George says respect and discipline is important. Uh, am I putting you on the spot, Lil, or what, what do you feel is important for a good, successful marriage? Well, I think uh, love has to come first. If you don't truly love this person, you can't live with them. I mean, you have to be in love, and you have to be willing to step aside a lot of times and just let time go by mm -hmm. and uh, always respect their opinion. It's mm -hmm. just as good as yours. You're not the only one that's right once in a while. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, and I've heard a lot of, um, actually just recently they had some stories in the local newspaper about married couples and they were giving their advice and some some say never go to bed mad, never go to bed angry at each other. Um, if you tell each other you love each other, which you were talking about love, make sure that you really mean what you say when you tell someone I love you. And then I think sometimes you just have to, you know, let things go once in a while. Um, it's it's really no fun to argue, and and maybe once in a while a little argument is good. But see, I I believe that God made me what I am, and He's going to He's going to control me, and He's going to help me through anything. If you don't have faith, it's going to be pretty lonely out there. Oh, I would agree, and I think, I think two, well, three really important words um, in my marriage, in our marriage, mine and Andy's, I would say is faith is one of them. Trust, I think trust is one of the most oh, important yes. words. Very much so. And of course, love to me, you know, they always, um, well, in the Bible, it does say love is the greatest gift, and I do believe that love is the greatest gift. So, and, and being married for 70 years is, is really, I mean, that is quite a significant accomplishment, and apparently you two have a lot of love for each other, um, having eight children, a successful marriage, <clears throat> and, you know, it would be great if, um, when people do make that commitment, someone else told me once that making a commitment is, it's a commitment for life. Yes, yes. When you get married, it's... Well, and you have to look at the fact that marriage back in my parents' day and your parents was much different than it is today. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, back then it was more like man's work and ladies' work. And you didn't cross the line. Right. You know? Right, exactly. I mm -hmm. remember times when my mother would ask one of the, my brothers to do something and dad would speak up and say, that's woman's work. You and know? you know, that is so true. And nowadays yes. it is a little different. Both oh, husbands and wives yes. work and they 
this have daycare? To, yes. Daycare for children? Well, I would like to thank you both for sharing uh, a little piece of each other, a, a little bit about your life with our viewers. Um, and I welcome you to the Madison. I'm so happy to have you both here living oh, with us. Thank it's you. great to be able to see um, you again, George, after many years um, of being around here quite a bit. And then being away from here, it's great to have you back. And it's great to have you here, Lillian. Thank you very much. And I'm glad you're enjoying life and, and marriage together. And I cannot wait for the big celebration in July. <laughs> and thank you for joining us today as we continue to celebrate aging at Ecumen Detroit Lakes.